Dr. Nasser once again. How is everything? Life is going smooth. Okay. So, once again we will touch upon the same stuff, something related to spoken English. Okay. It's our lecture number 8. L8. Okay. So, uh, you know that we have been discussing something like tag. By now you would have come to know that tag means something that is, in grammar I mean, something that is added to uh, an expression just for the sake of confirmation. Okay? So, we have tried different tags, suppose like this, isn't, wasn't. Okay? So, let's take this one, hasn't. Hasn't, all of you know, is abbreviation of what? Has not. Right? The complete expression is has not and its contraction, as I told you in the very right, earlier lectures, it is hasn't. And suppose you say, she has, she has come. Okay? She has come. It's a simple expression. And track, as I've told you so many times, that something that we add over there. In routine, if you just want to say, she has come. So how do you confirm that then? That is, yeah, we say, kya gai hai in Urdu, and in English we'll say, yes, has, okay, this, halkung go, there, and then, this single attached to that, has, she. The same concept, and then the sign of interrogation, a question mark. Okay. The same story, expression was, sentence was positive, so the tag must be negative, as you can say. Sorry. Uh, has she come? The tag is she has come. So this is not a proper tag. Expression was positive, so tag should have been in negative. So it should be hasn't she. Okay? And then is positive, so tag is negative. Okay, so tag is negative. If I take the same and if I just say she has not come. In this expression, sentence is negative. As you can see over here, it is negative. So, additional words, just for the sake of confirmation. That is, she has not come. And you say, kya gain? How would you say? Same stuff. Start with this thing and then add this thing. This is your halkum verb. So you say has, is, and then this thing, she. No need of mentioning has she come, this and that, because it is understood. Okay? So, tag over here is positive. Clear? So basic rule is the same. We just, as per tense requirement, we change a bit. Otherwise, haven't, you know, it is just plural form of has, so if I say they have informed, they have informed, and if you want to confirm this thing, contents is positive, how would we tag? Yes, according to this, but because sentence is positive, so tag must be negative. So they have informed, how would you say? How? Okay. Haven't? Haven't. This is, right, have not, actually. Haven't, and then add this thing, haven't. Clear? So, tag is negative. And then, so positive tag is negative. We have to keep in mind that whichever, actually, the auxiliary verb, the helping verb that is being used, that is, we start with that, and then we add this thing, so-called subject, whatever. Okay? Shant. Shant is a abbreviation of shell not. Shell in practical life is very uncommon nowadays. Very few people use it. In formal English, it is still there. So, if I say, yes, we are, let's say, they shall not go. Okay. Listen. Expression is negative, obviously. And what will be your tag? Yes. In this tag, we will just say, Take this thing, start with this, shell, okay, and then what? 
addition shall be and put this thing. So tag over here is positive. Right? Shan't is used in negative. Shan't means shall not. Right? Suppose you say, yes, they shall come. They shall go. They shall go. Okay? Expression is positive, so tag must be negative. It is a bit difficult, a bit uncommon too, but what will be its form? Shan't means shall not. Shan't and then just add this thing. Shan't it. And then put this thing. And then so positive and then tag is negative. Clear? So basic context, context, concept throughout is the same, right? So I keep in mind the helping verb that is being used, take that and then add the word preceding that or the subject of that expression. Suppose take don't, right? Suppose you say they like hmm, ice cream. Expression is positive or negative? Positive. And as I told you in the earlier lecture, sometimes there is no helping verb. But sentence is, this is present indefinite. So obviously, in present indefinite, you know, we use do or does. Okay? So tag would be according to this. It's in tool, they like ice cream and tag must be negative. Right? So that is don't. And then this thing, don't be. Okay, expression was positive, sentence was positive, and tag has become negative. If I say they don't in negative, like ice cream, and what should be strong? Very simple. They don't like ice cream. Expression is negative, so logically tag must be positive. So they don't like ice cream, and tag would be according to this. In this it was not clear, but over here it's very clear, some form of it one. So, do, and then, they, they, and something like this. This is clear. Similarly, we can stick to the, almost the same pattern, right? Suppose, let's take, doesn't. May I? Okay, rub it out. Okay. So, doesn't or does, all of you know that you use the singular. Okay. So, if I say, Mr. I, Anjil comes here. And if you just add something like tag, this is simple once again, this is simple, as an indefinite tense, so tag would be something like this. Right? If it is singular, so all of you know, it should be what? We have to use this, not do. Okay? So if something comes here, this is positive, tag should be negative, and that is does and apostrophe in T. And then instead of Mr. Amjit, we will use that pronoun, right? Doesn't he, right? We never see doesn't Mr. Amjit. Doesn't he. Okay. It was positive, so tag has become negative. Got it? So, take this example, can't. All of you know can be used for, it is contraction of cannot. It's contraction of cannot. And couldn't, couldn't. It is abbreviation of what? Could not. Clear? Right? Can't stands for cannot and co uh, this couldn't stands for could not. Okay? If you take this, suppose you say Right? If I say, my friend can do it. Right? Expression is positive. He can do it. And if you just confirm, right, just to assure that that thing can happen or not. My friend can do it. If you say, right, the tag would be can, and then instead of my friend, he. Are you getting? We never use these words. We rather use sort of pronoun for that. So he, my friend can do it, and then can't he? This was this our criterion, right? 
So it goes positive, so tag has become negative. Now if I just say, my friend, right, my friend can not do it. Right? Expression is positive or negative? Negative. So tag must be positive. Yeah, but get nice. Bravo. So my friend can not do it. It should be can. Right? Can or can't? It is positive, so cannot do. It is negative, so tag should be positive. Exactly. This is our criterion. Can and then instead of using the word my friend, we will say he or she, whatever. It is can be a can. Suppose she is a girl, can she? Okay. So tag over here is positive. Got some idea? Very simple. And the last is couldn't. Couldn't stands for could not. And I think all of you know, it is used in the past form, right? Suppose when you say, when something, right, could not happen in the past, right? Suppose you say, I say, I think he could not tell them, right? And for confirmation, if you say, he could not tell them, expression is negative. And you say, how would you form its tag? Expression is negative, so tag must be positive. And positive tag is curved according to this. Curved, and then he, that's so. And the last, if expression is Suppose, positive, if I say, he could tell them. Though in this expression, this sort of expression is very uncommon. So let's suppose if it is there, he could tell them. So how would you form its tag? Expression is positive, so tag must be negative. So tag would be like, according to this. A negative form of it is couldn't. So, he could tell them, and then couldn't, couldn't he. So this is the story. It means things are not that difficult. Just when you must know these were different contractions, okay? You must know these contractions and in conversation especially we use these contractions, contractions very much. In writing we don't. And so here our main concern is write sort of routine English. So is it clear or not? So once again let me repeat. Whenever the sentence is positive, tag must be negative. If the sentence is negative, tag must be positive. And then you have to keep in mind, right, this. These are auxiliary verbs, okay? We start with these, and then we add this sort of subject. But subject is never written like this. It is always in pronoun form, right? Instead of right, Mr. Amjad, my friend, we use he, she, they, or something like that. We would have got some idea, inshallah, if we remain alive. I'll meet you very soon. Thank you very much. Take care. Allah.